Hi, it's Carolyn Tate here. Thank you for continuing to share your questions and helping me co-create the Purpose Project online course. I'm really excited it's going to be launched on Monday. I thought I'd answer two more of your questions in this video. And one of those questions is, what if my boss doesn't care about my purpose and he or she just wants me to get on with the job? I'm going to be a little controversial here and say that you shouldn't really care too much what your boss thinks. Our purpose can't be mandated. It's not something you need to ask permission for. And arguing the point of purpose with your boss or your coworker or your partner for that matter or anyone else is a futile exercise. I would suggest just taking a self-leadership approach and taking self-responsibility for it and practicing uh, your purpose and that project after work, before work, at lunchtime, wherever. Uh, last week, I shared the story of Cynthia and she works in an inbound call centre and she's also studying to be a yoga teacher. And she's very keen to bring uh, yoga classes and yoga philosophy into her workplace. Now, her own boss might not support that project, but my suggestion would be that she finds co-workers that would, or perhaps looks for leaders outside of her uh, department who might support her project. So there's lots of ways that you can start to get support in your organisation for your, for your specific project. The second question that you asked was, uh, I'm already busy, I'm working in a really busy job, 50 hours a week, how do I find time in my week for purpose? And what I would suggest is that you take a Marie Kondo approach to your calendar. Now, if any of you um, know who Marie Kondo is, she's all about helping you uh, simplify your physical surroundings by removing those things that are not uh, giving you joy or that are not um, needed in your life. So I'd suggest that you actually do that to your calendar. So have a look at the time that you've spent maybe over the last week or few weeks and where you've actually spent time that could have been spent on your purpose project. Perhaps you've been watching too much Netflix or scrolling too much on social media or having pointless meetings that are not um, uh, going anywhere. So have a look at your time and create some real space in your, your calendar and your week to spend time on purpose, even if that's just 15 minutes a day. So there's two more answers to your questions. I look forward to sending you another email in a couple of days with some more big questions. Thank you once again for supporting this work. And I'm really, really excited to be helping you bring your purpose to life at work, starting right where you are right now.